Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm still here. I'm still here. If you guys have seen my last video, you're probably like, shoot, she fooled me. I had a pool, just a small little April Fool's prank on you guys. But anyways, I am back. <laughs> I wasn't gone too long, but today we are going to be eating brand new fast food items for 24 hours. There has been tons of new menu items out, like every place has just been coming out with them. I can't even keep up. So let's try some of those new items out today. Our first stop is Taco Bell. They have a brand new chicken cantina menu out. Lots of new items, but we're just gonna be trying one today. If you guys want me to try out the whole new menu, I'll definitely do a dedicated video for that, which that does sound good. I love me some Taco Bell. But our first stop of the day, we are getting the new Cantina Chicken Burrito. This looks absolutely delicious. Look at that burrito. I love me a burrito. So what is inside of it is a slow roasted chicken, purple cabbage, avocado ranch sauce, lettuce, chipotle sauce, pico de gala, and cheese. Hi, can I just do one Cantina Chicken Burrito, please? Already anything else for you? And then just some hot sauce, and that's all. Okay, it's gonna be $5.99. Okay, thank you. Hi. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You too. Bag secured. Yum. So for this burrito, it is $5.99. All right, guys. Let's see how this new burrito is. Taco Bell is always coming out with new stuff. Like, I feel like they are the quickest. Okay, let's try out this burrito first without sauce. Mmm. That chicken. So good. There's a lot of cabbage in there, too. Like, it tastes like I'm eating, like, a healthy burrito. Mmm. You guys, that is so good. It tastes like it's from, like, Chipotle or something. It's so, so juicy. Wow. I always wear white. Why do I always wear white when I am filming food videos? I'm always wearing white, black, tans, nudes, or browns. I usually am not wearing too many colors. I definitely am a neutral girly for sure. I feel like it just like looks better with my makeup and my hair color. This is a very juicy burrito. I'm gonna show you guys a little close up. Like, come on, look how good that looks. I'm going to Walmart after this. I have to get some stuff because I'm doing an ad today and I have to go buy the product. So I'm gonna go stop at Walmart and get that done and then come home, do lots of editing after that. So this will definitely keep me full for a while. This being the toasted shell really reminds me of the quesarito. Which Taco Bell, hello, bring that back. <laughs> this would be good with rice in it. I don't think there's rice in here, but that would be a good addition. So I leave for vacation in a couple days. My boyfriend and I 
are just going us to and I cannot wait to hear I am eating Taco Bell I have been doing Pilates a lot and I can really tell a difference which is crazy because I've only been going for like a month but recently I've been doing two classes in a row since like I'm going on vacation soon and I'm gonna be wearing a bikini like all day every day because we're in a resort so you're always in just like a bathing suit and a cover-up I feel like for the most part until later on in the day you go up to your room you get ready for like dinner and the nightlife So yeah, I've been doing two classes in a row, which is two hours of working out, and the, the second class is like 95 degrees in the classroom, so it's a heated, hot Pilates, but it's on a mat. So the first class is like on the Pilates machine, which is so fun. If you guys have not tried Pilates yet, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're not like a huge fan of working out. It's so much more fun when you're like in a class with people and I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. But the second class is just on like a yoga mat and you're doing like a ton of different like crunches and planks and stuff with weights, like things like that, which is so hard. Oh, especially doing that one second when I'm already like tired from the first one. The avocado verde sauce. There is avocado sauce. I didn't even notice this in the bag. We have like two bites left. Good thing I checked. So this is their new green salsa. I'm also gonna put some more hot. Just adds so much more flavor. Mmm. Wow, that green sauce is good. I wish I used that the whole time. <laughs> Honestly, the burrito itself is just delicious though. It tasted good how it was just with the hot sauce, but the salsa mixed with hot salsa, delish. But what I was saying was I went to the gym last night and just went on the treadmill and I walked like two miles on a high incline, like the highest it can go. And I wasn't even tired. Usually my legs are like burning and I can barely do the incline back before I started doing Pilates. And now I could like walk and walk and walk and my legs were not even burning. So that's a really good feeling like noticing a difference and because usually it takes a while like to notice a difference but once you do notice the difference it's really exciting and like rewarding so I want to do some more workout videos on my vlog channel which if you're not following my vlog channel yet it is just Steph vlogs and I post weekly vlogs over there Once I added the salsa verde on top of it, I think I would have to rate that like a 9.5 out of 10. All right, we are at our next stop of the day, KFC. So KFC just came out with these brand new little spicy nuggets, which sound delicious. I'm sure they are gonna be because KFC has the best chicken. I do think they are top on the list. Don't get me wrong, Popeyes is good, but something about KFC and their mashed potatoes, just everything at KFC I think is Mm. So you get 10 saucy nuggets and you can choose between all of these sauces. I think I'm gonna do the honey sriracha or Nashville hot. Their Nashville hot is so good. Do you guys remember when they had those Nashville hot chicken fingers and then they got rid of them? Should I get those again? Okay, maybe I will do the Nashville hot with some ranch. Honestly, all of these flavors look really delicious though. It's a hard pick. Hi, can I do the 10 piece Saucy nuggets in the Nashville hot flavor. And can I also do a side of ranch with that? Okay, anything else? That's all. Okay, thank you. Nashville hot, Nashville hot. Mm -mm -mm. They also have these new apple pie poppers, which looks pretty good. <laughs> but since we're already getting something new from here, we'll have to save that for the next video. Because we still have one more stop today too. 
Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We got it. Yummy. Their packaging is cute. Who is this KFC man? KFC. I wonder what that stands for. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I was thinking it was like the initials of this guy. I bet you my dad would have known who this man is. It honestly kind of looks like my dad's dad. Anywho, my dad always knew random facts about fast food places, and I'm sure he would have known who this guy is. You know what? We're going to look it up so we can all know and have a fun fact to share with people. Got two ranches. Okay. Ooh. So they come in this little container. Mmm. Honestly, it kind of needs like shaking up. Nice and saucy. Look how crispy and saucy those look. I'm gonna try not to get this on my clothes because we do not have a fork. Okay, we got some ranch. Mmm, I'm excited. Mmm, that sauce is so good. It's just like those old chicken tenders that they had. Nine, 10, 11, 12. They gave me like 13 nuggets. Maybe because some of them are like this tiny. I feel like they could be crispier. I would order these well done next time. Mmm. That one was really good. I just coated it in the sauce down at the bottom. Mm hmm. They definitely have a little kick to them. Not too hot, but like a good amount. Cause sometimes Nashville hot can be really spicy. This is like a perfect amount. The sauce is like very like oily. Also, I keep getting questions about this bracelet. And it's from Altered State. I also have them at TJ Maxx, but I guess it's like, these bracelets are like trending right now. I just thought they were flowers. I didn't know that this is like a knockoff of a designer brand called like Van Cleef. I've never even heard of that brand before, but they're like $20,000 bracelets or something like that. But yeah, so many places. I've been seeing like ads all over my phone. They're selling like all different variations of bracelets like that and necklaces and yeah, some people were replying to comments saying like, oh, it's a Van Cleef bracelet. It's not, but we can, we can act like it is. <laughs> it's just from Altered State. Mmm. These are good. So juicy. Mm. I always like stain my nails with food and I go and get my nails done in a couple days and they'll always say like what's under my nails or why are my nails red because I always like stain them with eating like really bright stuff especially Flaming Hot Cheetos which I have not bought those in a while honestly but whenever I eat those they stain my nails and it gets like all in the cuticle and all underneath you can scrub and scrub and shower and like it does not come off for a couple days and then there's been times when i like go and do painting with a twist which i really love doing which i haven't gone in a while i need to book something i want to paint my other two dogs because i painted hershey and she turned out so so cute so i would love to paint mochi and toffee as well i think toffee would be really fun to paint just because she's merle and has all the different colors in her fur and like has like a pink nose i think she'd be a really fun one to paint mochi is all gray i feel like she would be easier to paint maybe because you would just use like grays and dark grays and some blacks and browns like colors like that but Toffee would be like a little bit of everything, which sounds fun. Which, guys, it's almost Toffee's first birthday.
Her birthday is two days before mine on July 12th. Can't believe I'm turning 24 this year. I can't believe that. Whoa, I'm gonna be 24. And then my boyfriend's birthday is exactly a week after mine. Seven days apart, <laughs> we're both cancers, which we're very similar to each other. Like we relate in so many ways. I feel like it does have something to do with us both being cancers and we both like show love the same and like all stuff like that, which they do say cancers are compatible with other cancers. Especially since we're both July cancers. Because I do think June and July cancers are slightly different. Well, these are good. I would love to try all the sauces. Ooh, they are spicy. I love eating spicy food because it makes you drink your water. Like, I have, like, chugged this whole entire Stanley. It would be cool if you could do the famous bowl, too, and then do, like, the saucy wings on top of the famous bowl instead of just the popcorn chicken. I'd say these could be just a little bit bigger, some of them. I mean, some of them are decently big. These are tiny. So I'd say... Could be a little bit bigger and could be just a little bit more crispy. So I think I'll have to rate these a 7.5 out of 10. Still very good. I could see these being great leftover on a salad. Our third stop of the day is Dairy Queen. I have not had Dairy Queen in so long, especially a blizzard. So they came out with a bunch of new blizzard flavors and one of them really stands out to me and I cannot wait to get it and watch me become obsessed with it and crave it like every day. That's how I used to be with the Oreo cheesecake one. I craved it every single day. It was oh, it's still so good. Extra cheesecake bites too. What? They have a Nutter Butter Shake? Yummy. Okay, so their new summer blizzard menu. They have Ultimate Cookie. And that has Oreo, Chips Ahoy, and Nutter Butters in it. They have a Picnic Peach Cobbler, Peanut Butter Cookie Dough Party. That's what I want. And then Brownie Batter is back, Frosted Animal Cookie is back, and Cotton Candy is back. So we are getting the Peanut Butter Cookie Dough Party. It has sprinkles in it. I love rainbow sprinkles and cookie dough. Hi, yes, can I do one small Peanut Butter Cookie Dough Party blizzard? Anything else for you? That's all. It's an apple bit of <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing fine. This is gonna be my first one to see because the other one I didn't have I didn't get to hand out. Oh the new blizzard? Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks oh, we just pretty. Yesterday. Oh yesterday? Yeah. yeah, I like the rainbow sprinkles on it. It looks cute. Oh, yeah. Blizzard book. Lovely. Thank you so much. You are welcome and you have a nice day. You as well. Thanks. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, this sounds so good and refreshing right now. I love how they flip the blizzard upside down. I find that kind of funny. <laughs> it's like it just all poured out on me. Ooh, smells amazing. Smells like peanut butter and it looks so cute with the sprinkles. Taste test time. Wow. Okay, so it has little peanut butter crunchy bits in it. That's what she was saying. Those are good. Mm-hmm. The flavor of the ice cream tastes like peanut butter. Is it? So it's cookie dough peanut butter topping and rainbow confetti peanut crunch blended with our soft serve blizzard perfection. Like, why is cookie dough so good? Cookie dough is definitely my favorite. When I go to the movie theater, I always get cookie dough bites. You put them in your popcorn, and then they get a little bit melty and super soft and gooey. I do think cookie dough is better than a cooked cookie. I just love cookie dough. I wanna like figure out a recipe to make that taste like cookie dough. Maybe like, thin little cookie dough bars or something with like hard chocolate on top. I feel like that would be good. Mmm. I'm eating all the good stuff before going on vacation. We're only going like four days. So 
it's like a little long weekend we'll be eating good in mexico which i need to go to the doctor still i think i was gonna just do like a virtual online minute clinic appointment and get medicine beforehand because every time i go to mexico i get extremely sick extremely even when i don't drink the water and like I follow all the rules that you're supposed to. My stomach is just so sensitive and I'm sure lots of like the fruits and the veggies are all washed in that water and the bacteria still is there. But yeah, every time I get so, so ill. So I wanna get medicine beforehand, which I hope they'll give me some. I don't know if they can prescribe you medicine. I would think before a trip. So. I need a, I tried to do it yesterday and the virtual doctor was down, like the website was not working. So I was gonna try again today. I do need to get that because I'm leaving like two days and I still have to pack. Because the last time I was there, like I couldn't leave the room because I was so sick and they wouldn't prescribe me anything. They offered me Xanax, a shot of Xanax in my butt. I was like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> like, that's not the issue here. I'm like sick from the bacteria. I need like antibacterial medicine and then also like an anti-nausea medicine. So as soon as I came home, which that flight home was miserable, I will tell you guys that. But as soon as I came home, went to the CVS Minute Clinic, they prescribed me stuff, and immediately, like, once I took it, 30 minutes later, I already felt better. There's actually a lot of cookie doughs in here, too. I've already eaten, like, 15. There's another. <laughs> That's how I eat my blizzards. I just, like, dig through them and find all the cookie doughs. Well guys, I am going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Let me know what items you'd like to see me try next time. And I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.